10 20. It's cool. We covered for you. She's such a bitch. It was dead in here last night. And do you think she let us go home early? She made you stay till 1. She kept calling in every 20 minutes. The bitch wouldn't let us go home. Well, she might as well have. She thought she was making any money after 10. Man, I wish she'd admit she's a pimp. You know, if you made her take a fucking lie detector test, she'd probably pass it, saying, Wow, oh, this is a nice place for nice people. made each other. She doesn't even tell a shrink. But she's running a fucking whorehouse. Is that true? Yeah. You'd probably up her rate. You're probably right. Fuck. Dawn. What? Are you all right? Jeff fucking insisted on bringing me to work today, and he wouldn't take no for an answer. You let him bring you here? No, Gina, that's why I'm late. Well, what happened? I had him drop me off in front of an office building, thinking that he would drive away, but he fucking waited. So I had to go inside, and I had to hide out. He thinks you work for a caterer, doesn't he? Yeah, that explains my schedule. So what would he do if he found out? He'd fucking kill me. He wouldn't be able to deal with it. Oh, that's my appointment. Hi, Mom. Good to see you. Good to see you. <laughs> what can I get you to drink? Just a club soda. Hi, Bob. Hi, Hi Bob. Hi. Good morning. May I help you? Oh, hi, Joe. It's Gina. How are you? So, how have you been? Very well, thank you. How have you been? Good. Good time. How's your office? Thanks. So, how many? We have a new secretary. Oh, okay, really? Hi. The old one quit last week. Uh-huh. Good morning. Yeah, we've been you? pretty busy here, too. Yeah, I'll bet. Yes, sir. We have three very attractive young ladies here today. French and straight. That's 80 for the half and 150 for the hour. You can go twice in the hour. And those tenants I was telling you about on 134th Street? You got that ruling? Uh-huh. Congratulations. What did you find out? This morning. And I thought, what better person to share it with than my... Wonderful, sweet Molly. I'll be right back. Okay. You know, after I paid for food and rubbers last night, I left here with 25 bucks in my pocket. I'm in the Kleenex room. Maybe today will be better. Oh, God, I don't know what's worse. Doing nothing or seeing someone at this hour. Even a goddamn waitress in a diner makes more money in tips, and I'm showing up here for what, uh, 25 bucks? For what, to make that cut richer? Celebrating a whole hour this time. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> Is the uh, shower free? Yeah, I think so. Good. No, sir, they're natural blondes. Well, one of them is quite busty. I really don't know what her measurements are, sir, but if you'd like to come by, we do go by appointment only. Okay, well, thank you so much for calling. Bye-bye. Missy Jolly, I find this another essay. That Indian bitch, I don't have time for this, unless today's as slow as last night was. You guys, he's usually half, but today's an hour, so I'm not going to write in the time. If Lucy happens to pop in, then he can write in the real time. Otherwise, can you just put it in as half an hour mm -hmm. from now so it looks like a half-hour session? Thanks. Molly, you took Polly's sign college, right? Molly, please. Please, Molly. I'll pay a hundred bucks. Wait a minute, I said please. Two hundred bucks. Three hundred bucks. An essay is easy. On the peculiar nature of communist charisma. I'm already renting my body. I don't want to sell my mind. 